Good evening. I'm Sarah Gaines. And I'm Lily Brown before. You're watching the NUTV News Show. We begin tonight's news show coming out of the Student Government Association. The SGA has extended voting until Friday to get 20% of the student body needed to vote for their SGA president. The candidates this year are Sean Maloney and Michael Sabo. NUTV has an inside look of what each candidate has to offer. Let's take a look. Hi, my name is Sean Maloney and I want to be your student body president. I have the wealth of experience not only within the Student Government Association, but in other areas of campus to better lead this student body. I want to establish the Board of Trustees, uh, representative on the Board of Trustees to better represent your voice to this administration. I also want to make student government work for you and be more open, including general student meetings and presidential office hours. I will be accessible to any student that wishes to speak with me. If you want more information on my platform, go to www.nobalonenu.com for more information. How are you, Northeastern? My name is Michael Sabo, and I'm running to be your student body president. I have experienced leadership that has gotten results, 24-7 library hours, swipe printing, and many more things. I want to expand swipe printing to all of campus, residence halls, dining halls, and major buildings on campus. I want to bring student groups into the fold. I want a member, a student on the board of trustees. I want, you need somebody that you can count on to get results, and I've done that. I've listened to your feedback, and I'm excited to be your president, and I want to work with you each and every day to make your student experience the best it can possibly be. You'll be able to cast your vote by logging on to MyNEU. The Snell Library is about to turn 20 years old. Celebrating their 20th anniversary will be the 10th archivist of the United States, David Fierro, this April 25th from 2 to 4 p.m. Students interested should email Nina Shaw at nin.shah at neu.edu with your name and year of graduation. You must RSVP by the 15th. Members of the Husky Energy Action Team are saying the university could do more to be a green campus. HEAT members are asking students to sign their petition to get more recycling bins placed on campus. According to their research, buildings like Shillman have about 40 trash cans for every one recycling bin. Instead of, you know, having just them placed randomly, we want to have hopefully one next to every trash bin on campus. The group has about 1,000 signatures with a goal to collect 25,000 by the end of the month. Students interested in signing the petition can go to www.heat.neu.edu. The Northeastern Admissions Office is getting a bit more selective. Administrators predict that INU's admission rate will be under 35% this year. Over 43,000 students applied, but under 3,000 will be part of the new freshman class. Northeastern received more freshman applications this year than any other private university in the U.S. The Banditos Mysteriosos have once again pushed their urban playground movement by using Cambridge Commons for this year's International Pillow Fight Day. NUTV's Young Kim has the story. What you are seeing is not snow, but the fluffy remains of what used to be a headrest. Up and down and side to side, these were the motions of what could only be seen through a sea of pillows. I think we can all agree that sometimes violence with soft objects is just necessary. It was the fourth annual International Pillow Fight Day, where the name speaks for itself. It's like a big sleepover during the day. <laughs> <laughs> more fighting. <laughs> it gave children something to remember for the rest of their lives and gave adults a chance to rekindle with their childhood spirit. I, I think it's a lovely way to bring people together, you know, well, pillow fight, yeah. little pillow fight. Pretty brings out the best in children. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, kill Tigger. Kill, t yeah, kill that's Tigger, that's die, die poo. Other costumes in the crowd added more tempting targets to everyone's hit list. Above all of them, it must be our friend here, the banana. Been, Everyone just wants to hit the banana. <laughs> Organized by the Banditos Mysteriosos, Pillow Fight Day is part of their urban playground movement. The urban playground movement is dedicated to using uh, you know, our urban environment, public space, uh, towards, uh, you know, for lack of a better word, fun. Now, Boston is one of the 140 cities to join the same worldwide event, making it the second largest, right behind New York. 
More Huskies joined the fray, satisfied with this year's turnout. I'm here to make sure none of my divers are partaking in the pillow fight because they could get hurt. It's a good way to relieve stress, get some energy out. <laughs> For NUTV! For NUTV! I'm Young Kim! And that's all we have for you tonight, Northeastern. Tune in next week for the last edition of the NUTV News Show. Good night. Good again.